world. What is happening, world? Big Jew here. I'm driving to my second job that I recently acquired to get my schedule, and I figure I do a little drive vlogging as well. It's gonna look really weird doing this on on a city. <laughs> I usually do this kind of crap on the uh, highway. There's a college campus right there. Say hi to say hi to the school that I kind of go to and kind of don't go to at the moment. Actually, don't go there at the moment. I'm probably gonna have to reapply because I've only, I've taken uh, two semesters off. Uh, and yeah, after if you take more than if you take a I think if you take two or more semesters off or, or two consecutive semesters off that without taking classes, you gotta reapply for admission. Which is lame, but eh, whatever. It, it, whatever. It's fine. It's just something I didn't deserve, you know. It's something that, like, I mean, you know, you could imagine college being like, "Where's it? Where is this kid? You know, he hasn't taken any classes in nearly a year. Well, maybe he just dropped out. So I don't know. We'll see. We will see. I mean, I want to. I want to talk to the uh, administrators and stuff there, but uh. Or my, or my dean, or whoever I need to go to, probably, probably just someone at the uh, registration uh, desk, someone who works there, and say to them, hey, like, what do I have to do, because I don't have any money for school, but I don't want to reapply, because I, I owe them uh, for a, I bought health insurance from them, because you need health insurance to take full-time classes, and uh, yeah, that ran late. <laughs> And it's been late for a while. Which, you know, I don't think they, like, send it to, like, a collection agency and garnish your wages or something like that, but... Still, I mean, you know, you owe, you owe school money for, you know, a really long time. That's, that's not, that's not good. So, whatever. But, hey, I have two jobs now, so I'm gonna have to do, I can take care of that non-stop. And that means I won't be able to record that much, but, I mean, hey, that's just how it goes. Guys on bikes, on scooters. I was a, uh, I was kind of considering getting one of those back when I was uh, back when I had lots of money about five years ago, living off my dad's trust. Yeah, I still feel guilty about that. And today's my birthday, by the way. Is this guy going? Yeah, he is. All right, so I gotta yield for him. I hate roundabouts so much. You know he was circling all the way around. Well, I do that all the time, too, so whatever. <laughs> Today is my 30th birthday. Yes, I turned 30 years old. And, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, gonna let everyone know right now, I did not think I would make it this far without just giving up on life and just accepting things. Because last year it was kind of looking that way where I was like, eh. Well, you know, maybe I should just give up on going to going back to school. Maybe I should give up on trying to get my second uh, degree. And maybe I should just give up on everything and just work in my little store the rest of my life because I had no ambitions, anyways. But uh, that all pretty that that pretty much most of that changed. I mean, uh, I just had a uh, long talk with a few of my buddies. And they said, hey, you know, you're, you're talented. And my mom also uh, said, hey, you're talented, you just gotta use your talents in the right way and, and, do, and do college the right way, not just uh, do it just to please anybody, because that's what I was doing when I first went to college, you know, back when I was like 21. You know, I, I, I just wanted my dad to be happy. You know, the goal was to impress dad make dad happy and uh, you know I did that but I didn't really come out with anything marketable to get a decent job or at least to do stuff uh, you know that or at least to have you know a, a grandiose pipe dream you know what I mean like yeah like I was getting back into bowling so I'm like oh maybe I could be a pro bowler you know that kind of deal but like I mean but it wasn't like, I wasn't working towards that, you know what I mean? I wasn't working towards that. I wanted to work in education just because, ooh, I get to be a teacher and I get to uh, yell at kids all day and then I get summers off. It'll be just like, 
it'll be like school never ended because uh, back then I really thought I mean I, I, and when I was in high school I really thought that like high school was kind of like a wrestling show where like I was the bad guy you know and if I were to teach high school I'd be like the general manager I don't know if any of you watch wrestling, but, you know, there's definitely, there's, there's, there's characters like that. Uh, so that's what I thought, but, I mean, it wasn't like that at all. I mean, especially teaching in Florida, because you gotta, you gotta teach FCAT material. Um, whether, when, uh, and it doesn't matter what subject you teach. Like, I wanted to teach history just because I'm obsessed with history so much. And, 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 uh, whoa, hey. Oh, this is a this is a local bar called Pot Bellies, and uh, yeah, it's filling up at six in the evening on Friday. What the hell is that all about? There we go. So we can turn there. Yeah, look at that crap. That's crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Right next to all the frat houses and all that kind of stuff. That's a that's a Greek life hangout there. Lots of sorority girls. I could go in there. I could probably hook up with a ton of sorority girls, but probably get my ass kicked by a whole bunch of frat guys. So, yeah, that, that's not happening. <laughs> so I really thought, you know, that was kind of the fantasy that I had. But then I realized, you know, that there's different stuff you have to, you know, abide to. It's not just like getting a job at, you know, at Zaxby's where that's my second job and I'm doing Circle K now. You know what I mean? It's not like getting a retail job. It's not like, it's not like getting a fast food job. It's, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, you'll be working for the, you'll be getting, you know, working for the state, working for the county, whatever, school board. Hot chicks over there. Hot chicks everywhere. I mean, you're, you're actually going to be responsible for shit, and like, you know, when I, the more I learned about that, the more I said, ah, you know, it's not for me. And then uh, I started writing again, and on uh, on Valentine's Day this year, I made I, I wrote I wrote like a uh, what the hell? Oh, ha! The road I want isn't closed. Thank God. Oh, that's holy line, Batman. Yeah, that's right. It's six in the evening, so it's gonna be pretty nasty. So I wanted to teach history, but I didn't wasn't really interested in that. And then I'm like, well, what do I want? Well, what do I want to do? What do I want to go to school for besides just do college bowling? Because, you know, I mean, I'm really into bowling now. I mean, I mean I've, I've improved so much in bowling in the sport itself that honestly, if I keep going at it, if I keep, if I keep doing it, if I keep, if I keep performing it the way I'm performing now and I keep practicing and stuff, uh, yeah, and if I have the right equipment and all that good stuff, I could potentially be like, uh, at least, at least a residential professional, meaning I would be like making money in local tournaments. So I got into that, and then you know at the college level, I wanted to, I wanted to use up the rest of my uh, eligibility years in college, and I still have one more left. So yeah. So I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm ready now. It's a thing like, and, and I wrote a thing uh, on my Facebook as a note, uh, pretty much uh, describing who I was in high school. I was kind of this guy who, not unlike Dark Side Phil, I was a guy who just like disliked everything and was brutally honest about a lot of things, and I got a lot of heat for it, but. Uh, it didn't matter because I liked the uh, negative attention. I don't know if how, I don't know if that's how DSP was, but that's how I was when I was uh, growing up. And I wrote this like little diatribe thing of like kind of copying the way I was in high school. I I made I would make full notebooks of just stuff that just made me upset and just stuff that was just annoying to me. And some things would be like, some things would last, would not even be like a sentence long. And then some others would be like whole paragraphs. And my mom read it, and my mom's like, you know what you should do? You should do creative writing. You should go back to school, finish up your second degree, and, and, and you know, because I'm, I'm a history major right now, and I only have, only have like two more classes in that. 
so I'm gonna pick up a history major. And my mom's like, you know what, you should minor in creative writing if it's not that many classes. And a minor in, uh, at least in a, in a uh, public Florida university is only about, it's only about five classes, uh, you know, providing that you've gotten all your prerequisites in order, which I obviously have. <laughs> So, you know, that's what I'm doing right now. That, that's my plan. I mean, you know, that was uh, pretty much when this year started. And now I have, you know, uh, motivation and I have, you know, I have ambitions now. And that's a great thing to have. Uh, and there, there's definitely some days where I'm not motivated, especially when I have no money. Like now, my mom just sent me a whole ton of money, so that's fantastic. That's going to help me out quite a bit. And, you know, I mean, hey, I mean, I'm on my way, and that's amazing that my mom is able to do that for me, and my mom is able to be the person who uh, wasn't, the, you know what, to be quite honest, she wasn't really around that much when I was uh, growing up. I mean, 15 years ago, when my parents divorced, and my mom moved away, and I thought she had abandoned me, but, uh, you know, I mean, 15 years later, you know, me and her are pretty close now, and... Ever since my dad died, uh, you know, like things between myself and my mom have just been very nice. So, yeah. Uh, it, it's... It's just amazing. I mean, that, that, that's it's fantastic because now my mom's owning up to, uh, to not being around instead of just disappearing from my life forever. You know, me and her had always kept in touch, but I never really cared for talking to her when I was a teenager and even in my uh, early 20s but I mean then my dad dies and all of a sudden I'm like well hmm maybe I can uh, reconnect with my mom and that's pretty much in the last five years or even the last 15 we'll say that's definitely one of the, uh, the one, one of the biggest milestones of my life and probably and, and one of the least expected because I honestly think my mom would just throw me to the curb and just be like okay well you know, I don't have a son anymore, ha ha. You know what I mean? I honestly think she was the one to do that because a lot of people like to abandon things that they're not ready for or that they don't feel like they can do or that they feel like, uh, you know, that they're gonna have to risk uh, happiness for even if it's uh, even if it's something like, uh, you know, watching YouTube or playing video games or even, or, or, or drinking or whatever anything that you're addicted to that you just can't deal without. You know what I mean? That's why I'm not like going out with a woman right now. I mean, it's not like I can't, it's not like I don't have social skills. I do. I have plenty of social skills. I have plenty of, you know, I know how to make moves without being awkward. Uh, you know, I know how to state my intent with women instead of, you know, beating around the bush and being what I call white knight with a black heart. You know, I'm not the kind of guy who's like a who's like a fake gentleman who like on dates, oh, I'll pay for the whole thing because I'm a gentleman because that's what a man does. You know, I'm not like that. And women appreciate it, but it's getting to the next step. That's what I'm scared of. I'm scared of, you know, oh, what if, uh, you know, what if, what if I get a girlfriend out of this? You know, what if we have sex and I just cannot live without sex? You know what I mean? Because I do get addicted to positive, uh, emotions, positive stuff, really quickly. Uh, sex being, uh, sex probably being one of them, you know. So those, these, these are things that I've been thinking about, I mean, but yeah. Anyways, I'm probably gonna shut this off because um, <laughs> I've gotten like a couple looks from people, <laughs> and I'm, a, I'm, I'm uh, and I am rolling up to a uh, my job right now, so it's coming up on, it's coming up on the right there, so I gotta shut this off, and I will do a follow-up video to this, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of videos, in the, uh, over the weekend, so be prepared for that, alright, I'm out, peace.